we would not be standing in this beautiful chamber and having the debates that we do have every week uh, in regards to public policy if it weren't for the fact that we have veterans that uh, fight for our freedoms uh, to not only have public debate but to also um, allow us as a community uh, to do the things that we do. And so, you know, it's, it's my honor to not only honor veterans, but specifically uh, our honoree from the 31st Assembly District, uh, because he not only uh, exemplifies uh, the true meaning of service uh, when it comes to um, our military, but he also came back home and he continues to serve our community uh, in local law enforcement. And so I think that uh, uh, 31st Assembly District is very lucky to have, um, you know, somebody like him who um, who was not only willing to put his life on the line for our country overseas, but he continues to do it when he comes back home and keeps um, our families safe uh, from, from local uh, crime uh, folks in, in the whole nine yards. So. I just want to say thank you for uh, allowing me the opportunity, afforded me the opportunity to come up here and uh, uh, receive this gift or this honor. Uh, I feel that it's, uh, as a veteran, I feel honored for the state of California and to represent the United States of America. Uh, being an American it makes me feel great and privileged. And I just want to say again, thank you very much for uh, recognizing me and my fellow veterans to the state of California for this event. Thank you very much.